We're going to turn down to our ABC News exclusive. Many people want to hear about this with the head of Clorox. As COVID cases top 5 million in the U.S. and so many students head back to school, demand for those disinfectant wipes is high. The supply chain is strained. We have seen so many images of empty store shelves. Clorox says demand for its wipes is up 500 percent. They're racing to fill demand. Joining us now from the Bay Area is Linda Rendell. She is the president and CEO elect of the Clorox company. Good to have you back with us. We really appreciate you taking some time. So let me get right to it. The question people want to know, where are the wipes and how are you keeping up with the demand? Well, the good news, Robin, is that we are making wipes in record numbers and shipping them to stores in record numbers. But I want to start by acknowledging that I know how much people are hurting right now, given what is going on with COVID. I know we're facing an incredibly difficult time in the U.S. and around the world, and my heart goes out to people, and I hope we can all stay well together. In terms of wipes, we are making more disinfecting products than we ever have before. Since January, we're able to make 100 million more disinfecting products than we did before. That's a 50 percent increase. And specific to wipes, we're making nearly 1 million packages of wipes every single day and shipping them to stores. You are churning them out every day, doing your best. Do you have any suggestions, Linda, for uh, consumers? Any tips on how they can go about being able to purchase them when they become available? Yes, and first, we thank everybody for their patience. Uh, we know it's hard when you're looking for them. So a few, a few tips for people. First, many stores online, you can sign up uh, for reminders when products are back in stock. You can do that at walmart.com. Other stores allow you to enter your zip code to see if products are in stock in store uh, at the moment that you click. And certainly store managers can help you understand when shipments arrive at their stores, you can plan your shopping trip. And then of course, you can use our website, clorox.com and use other products, including Clorox bleach, that's in a good in stock position right now and we have many tips on how you can use that to disinfect surfaces all around your home. Those are all great suggestions. We appreciate that. You know, it is back to school and unprecedented time during this, this COVID pandemic. And, and you're working with schools um, and teachers and trying to help. Tell us about that. Yeah, getting ready for back to school in my own house. And my husband's also a mm -hmm. teacher. So I know this mm -hmm. well that the challenges uh, parents and students and teachers are facing this back to school season are unprecedented. So we are partnering with the Clear the List Foundation and have made a $1 million donation to help teachers prepare for school. Uh, this grant allows teachers to buy anything they need to support the classroom and their students, including electronics, masks, uh, anything that can help a successful school year. And I know you're working with other companies and some sports leagues as well, the NBA and the WNBA. What are you doing with them? Yeah, there are just a couple of the partnerships that we've started. And really what that was about, we heard from so many people that they were missing the small things in life, like sports and entertainment and that joy that we get every day when it's in our homes. So yeah. we partnered with the NBA and the WNBA to provide them a small amount of product to keep their teams, the refs, um, and all of the essential workers working in the bubble safe. Uh, and we hope that helps provide a little joy to people in their living rooms as we stay at home. Uh, all right. You are going to become the CEO. You're the CEO elect of Clorox. When it becomes official, you're going to join a record number of women that we're seeing leading Fortune 500 companies. What does it mean to you personally? to be a part of this, of this history. I am incredibly honored, one, to be CEO of such an incredible company like Clorox and the role that we serve in the pandemic. And of course, honored to be the 38th woman to join that, uh, those ranks. But of course, 38 out of 500 isn't quite where it needs to be. And it's not just women, but minorities that are underrepresented in leadership in Fortune 500 companies. And I'm, ho I'm hoping we can make additional progress over the next few years to get to the place that we need to uh, and having diverse leadership teams run these companies. And I'm sure many share those, those similar thoughts. So your husband is a teacher, what does he teach? Well, he was a math and history. He became a middle school director, uh, but he's getting now into being a Dean of students. So he Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry about that. I just, I, oh, well, I, I was just interested, you know, when she, when she said that. But I'm very happy for her and what she said about Amy, about being the 38 out of 500. Yeah. Still work to be done when it comes to, to leadership. But uh, she is very proud of what she's doing there at Clorox and some good suggestions on how we can go about snagging those, yeah. those wipes. I was, I was taking notes, Robin. Thank you for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.